Welcome to Off Corporate. I'm your host, Chardale B. You can find me on social media as chardale.b. All right, it's the middle of a pandemic, so excuse my voice. Uh, we want to practice social distancing and keep everybody safe. So you'll see us wear masks and try to keep our groups of people small. But uh, enough about me, enough about the pandemic. Let's talk about Off Corporate and what this show is all about. Uh, this show is really a platform for creatives to be discovered, to uh, pursue their, their dream jobs, to land gigs, to collaborate with other creatives and synergize, and just a, a place for people to talk about uh, building a career in the creative industry. We got some special guests on the show. You may see them in the background here kind of creating. But this should be a lot of fun, you guys. Um, we've got so many different areas that we're going to cover as the episodes unfold. This first episode, uh, we're going to talk about modeling. We're going to talk about photography. Okay, okay, yeah, the shot was kind of clean. This is uh, straight out of the camera. But the floors are not clean. I mean, my God. Goodness, look at the crusty McGee's over here. The clean freaks are going to have a field day in the comments below. Now, I'm just kidding. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you in this is this little marker right here. See this? That little marker is, if you're shooting solo, this is something you can do to make sure that you always get a uh, focus or the optimal lighting. So what we're doing here is using the blinds as a natural diffuser. More or less, you know, just getting that natural sunlight coming in from the window. I'm not using any special lighting here, uh, just using the window to create that soft light on the one side of my face. And then you'll see when I flip back over on this side of my face is a darker lighting to create some contrast and separate me from the background. So that was all done intentionally. So that after I, you know, recorded each cut, I could go around, double check on the camera here and then flip and get right back to the exact same spot so that my, all of my shots look the same. So anyway, uh, that's enough behind the scenes. Let's get back to the video. For the most part, we're gonna stick to about four key areas. Photo, video, so camera, modeling, tech, and financial literacy. Because a lot of creatives end up starting their own businesses or they end up working in the creative industry with their uh, skill set. So we want to help people get marketability with their skills as they uh, progress in their career. Stay tuned, stay to the end to find out what the tech that we'll talk about. I'm going to give you a tip for how to speed up your success in your career as you gain confidence to do what you want to do. All right, so stay tuned. Six feet. We got Six feet, right. We got uh, Dupree, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are. Um, like I said, he introduced me, Dupree, Duda, the Nerd God, uh, Nerd God Visuals. Um, no, we just, we do a lot of different corporate things and stuff like that. Um, we got to a point where we kind of started realizing that we wanted to um, explore our creativity more off corporate without doing a lot of so many corporate shoots. Uh, corporate things, they're fun to do, they're great, um, but they stick to a certain rule base. So with all corporate, I guess we kind of wanted to uh, get our feet wet, wet with a little bit more creativity, photography, videography, cinematography, all the geographies <laughs> that you would think of. Um, other yeah. than that, yeah, pretty much we just, that's kind of testing what we came up with. Yeah, cool. So what's kind of your background, uh, especially as it relates to being a creative? First of all, my style is very uh, cinematic and moody. Um, as I kind of noticed, I, as I wanted to get into content creating, I got into the point of realizing that everything that I saw, I started kind of playing picture of a movie mm -hmm. in my head. Um, whenever I seen shots or just cars riding by, the first thing I always thought of was, was man, how could this look, this looks like a movie scene or this looks like a, a nice picture and things like that. So um, I actually had moved out of town, took a, a couple of shots and stuff like that. And things kind of went great and kind of things kind of trickled from there. Okay, so really your focus is uh, photography and video production or um, is there I would say more or less probably cinematography. Things like that. Like I said, whenever I see something and I'm kind of out and about, I'm always thinking like, how can I make this 
look like a movie or look like uh, something that you would see there from a magazine or from some type of article or something like that. So, right. Yeah. All right, right. Well, glad to have you on the show, man. Um, appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Nerd God um, Visuals, you know, we'll put his uh, social handle up on the screen. But in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to follow him or check out his work, feel free to do so. Is is super creative, not just uh, photo and video, but you natural know, organic, dancing, art, natural organic chemistry, man. It's yeah, it's like a brother to me, so yeah, big yeah. brother actually. Well, I appreciate big that. Brother. I appreciate. That. <laughs> All right, so we we got a uh, another guest we want to introduce. So this is the other guest that I was telling you guys about. It's Maya. I'm gonna let Maya introduce herself. Hey guys, I'm Maya Melody, and um, I'm from Omaha. I've been modeling for about three years now. Um, I love, I love it with a passion. Um, I do print, commercial, fashion, um, you name it. I love to walk. Um, I actually see myself walking more, and that's something that I'm definitely working towards. Um, I love to do fashion shows. And uh, yeah, I, I love to grow and learn. So anything creative, I'm all for it. Um, I, I definitely want to expand myself and see how far I can go. Okay, well, that's very nice. We've done some creative work with uh, Maya in the past. And um, let me tell you, she's a real treat to work with creatively. She's got the, the look, but also the personality that just comes across in the, in the shoots. But uh, let's dive in a little bit deeper. There's a lot she's she hasn't said to you guys yet about what you know her talents and whatnot. So let's let's find out a little bit more. Let's talk about like the the other ambitions and passions that you have besides uh, the walking and things like that. You know, if you could see yourself as far out as you can imagine, what would that look like? Um, I would love to one day uh, run my own agency for children. Um. I, I want to learn how to get into photography. Um, and also just the whole business aspect of it. Um, I love working with children, for one. Modeling's my passion. So to combine the two would be amazing. So that's definitely like a, a, a overall goal that I would love to reach in the future. Okay, so how can people reach you if they uh, wanna find you on social media? What, what's your... Uh... Your Instagram, you know, what, what can people find you at? So it's Maya X Melody on all social platforms. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. All right. Well, thanks for being here. I think it's, it's hard for people to really see what I see underneath the mask. So we're, we're going to break the rules for a second. It's just her. We're going to break the rules. She's not going to breathe. Nothing's going to happen, okay? She's just going to take her mask off so we can see the full beauty. Let me go ahead and have As long you. as you're six feet back. Six feet? Yeah, we got six feet. Make sure we got the zoom. Well, on. guys, now that you can see my face, I'm super bubbly, super giggly. So <laughs> you'll see me smiling nonstop. <laughs> there it is. There is the face of success. That's what it looks like. Thank you, Maya. So today, we're going to be doing a creative photo shoot with Maya so that you guys can see the talents that we have in this room. So we're gonna do a simple photo shoot and show you some of the edits. Now, remember, we've got Nerd Guy visuals here. So it's not just myself. We've got Nerd Guy, we're gonna create. There's gonna be a synergy collaboration of all of us. And then we'll, we'll post up some pictures for you guys to review and check out the work. Let us know in the comments below if you like it, love it, or hate it. Hopefully you love it, but if you hate it, then you hate it. Yeah, so we'll get started. Who are you? How long have you been doing this? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for asking. Are you ready? You ready for mm -hmm. We're rolling. Shoot. We're Shoot. rolling, man. I ain't got no time. My name is Chardell. Uh, again, you can find me on all the social media handles as chardell.b. I like to call myself a hyper creative. I got into the creative industry through uh, actually music. 
I was trying to be a rapper, you know, that was my thing. I wanted to be a rapper, put out a music video and all of that stuff. And that's where I got exposed to cameras and, you know, learning about how to use lighting and all of that good stuff. I've been in the game for about 10, 12 years uh, with cameras. And um, I just kept adding on to my skill set. So about five, seven years ago, I started going to school for web development and learned how to, how to build websites and write code you know, just learning how business works. So uh, there's too much to discuss in one video. I have a lot of different things that I've worked in. Uh, finance, um, computer science, photography, video, music, and um, drones. Those are like the main things that I'm, that I'm uh, known for, specialized in. But going forward for me, I'm trying to build a multi-million dollar uh, branding agency as well as uh, bringing people along with me. So that's my big uh, focus going forward is helping to create opportunities for other people. So I just want to keep adding value and help people out and so we can all go where we're trying to go. So probably what I'm no most known for in the creative industry is my branding agency is called Stable Gray. Uh, we're actually sitting in my studio right now uh, we started Stable Gray, myself and my business partner, about five years ago. We started it really because we felt like a, a need for uh, people of color to be represented in this industry. There's a lot of agencies, but there aren't a lot owned by people of color. Uh, for us, you know, representing our perspective and our point of view. So that's uh, where it started. And we've just, you know, grown and grown from there. I do this full time. This is my full time. We're sitting in my studio. And I just want to share that knowledge with people, help people to learn about uh, this entire creative stack that we work in and also learn about what other people are doing. The mask on. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I promise you guys a uh, tech topic. Did I say that right? Tech topic. Tech, tech topic. Tech topic. Tech topic. Tech topic. Tech topic. Um, Today's tech topic is going to be my glasses. The Bose Rondo glasses. Um, these glasses are actually... Bluetooth, because I was looking for something unique, something a little different. Uh, these are Bluetooth glasses with speakers. The reason why they're so chunky on the side, that's actually a speaker right there. It allows me to talk on the phone as well as uh, respond to my Google Assistant on my phone. I'm gonna review a lot of glasses on here. I own a lot of different types of uh, tech glasses. So there'll be more coming from that area. But um, these come as sunglasses. They're made for, you know, walking around out in the sun, maybe going for a jog. I converted them to prescription. These are prescription. I can't see without my glasses. So they, they have transition lenses in them. If anybody wants to know more about how I uh, convert my glasses, just hit me up in the comments and, uh, you know, I can we can do more on an episode about that. But yeah, Bose Rondo glasses. Uh, check the link in the description below on where to find them. And, uh, you know, I love them. I don't wear them all the time, but they come in really handy, especially like if you're carrying things. I can be talking on the phone or listen to music, listen to a podcast, and I'm, you know, carrying uh, the equipment into a photo shoot uh, while I'm closing another business deal. So very handy if you guys are interested. So that's it for the tech topic. Success tip. If you want to make a lot of money, don't, don't focus, focus on, on making, making money. money. Most of the successful people in this world got their start by working hard or doing some work for free. So if you really want to make the big dollars, if you want to be a successful business person or in any creative uh, career, focus on your craft. Focus on getting good at what you want to do and focus on uh, building relationships because uh, the, the money, the wealth is in the people. So if you know the right people, you have the right connections, that can jumpstart your career a lot faster than you trying to go out and force people to buy something that's a half-baked, unfinished product. I'll give you an example. One of my favorite uh, YouTube creators, his uh, 
handle is MKBHD. You probably heard of him. Shout out to Marquise Brownlee. Marquise Brownlee. He has uh, one of the most successful tech review channels on YouTube. When he started, he had no production value. If you go look at his channel and look at the first video, it's a very low quality video. But he just focused on the content that he was putting out, being consistent and building a relationship with his audience. Uh, he learned the rest along the way. And you can do the same. And that's what we're doing. You know, we're focusing on supporting each other supporting the craft and just getting good at what we do but it's the same grind we all have the same grind so you can do the same and uh just focus on your safe to live with passion live with passion <laughs> live with passion follow your passion and you'll get there all right so that's it for episode one of off corporate you, you got good? to meet myself charlie lb Maya melody and dupree wells yes yes we had a blast hopefully you guys love the footage Leave us a comment below. Tell us what you think of the photos as well as uh, us, our introductions. And we'll see you in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>